I love that a little kid asked me the other day, he's just like, how do you put your shoes on with that thing? And I'm just like, the same way that you do. I mean, when, when, day to day, really, when you look at it, it's no different. I don't think about it as you probably don't think about walking around with two able-bodied legs. I am a member of the Range of Motion, a project's board of directors and ambassador. The ROMP program is basically an advocacy group that raises funds and advocates on behalf of people with disabilities, especially those who are amputees living in developing countries. We bring prosthetic care to places where people often don't have access to care. So the most important goal with what we do is we go out and share and spread our mobility to raise funds to provide this prosthetic care to those who are often neglected in care access. My name is David Krupa. I am the executive director and co-founder of the Range of Motion Project. Uh, we work in the U.S., Guatemala, and Ecuador, where I currently am on this call in Quito, Ecuador. Uh, this year, we're providing 90 people with amputation, quality prosthetic care. Making it look easy. Cool. With Pedro Ramos. It's been about an hour on his leg, first time. He's already working with our crutches. As well as uh, rehabilitation and different opportunities to kind of get back to the life that they maybe enjoyed prior to their amputation. I had a congenital birth defect in my left foot when I was born and shortly afterwards, uh, that foot was amputated. So I've used a prosthetic leg my entire life. You know, it started off for me as a very personal thing and I, I really enjoy challenges and I thought this is a challenge. This is a major challenge that, that, that can be solved. There's no reason that in you know, 2019, when multiple solutions exist for amputation, that most people who have an amputation can't access that solution. That's absurd. And there's plenty of material resource to go around the world 10 times over to solve this problem. Really, my story begins with I was born without my femur bone. And I've been wearing a prosthetic leg since I was 10 months old. I'm a two-time um, Paralympian, a three-time medalist in the sport of alpine ski racing. So for me to be standing on a podium wearing three bronze medals in my life, I can only be thankful for the prosthetic care that I have had. It really hit hard that I never really thought about my care because it always just happened. Every time I grew, I got a new leg. Yeah, so this is my everyday leg. New sport, I got a new leg. And I was very humbled by those who have gone 20 years without a limb. There's so much happiness within this clinic when you watch people get to walk for the first time. Hey. <laughs> or use a, a prosthetic can for the first time after limb loss. It's very, it's very warm and very loving community. And one that I think is often missed in maybe my own prosthetic care. Really sweaty and gross. <laughs> My leg barely hangs on. <laughs> I do love challenging people's perceptions. It's probably why I keep moving. I'm out here doing CrossFit. You'll see me hiking, you'll see me swimming. Because I feel like when I am moving, nobody can challenge my strengths or my ability. So I'm not gonna stop and I'm gonna continue to get those to look at me and think differently about what's possible.